Welcome back to the Tacoma Dome here at Matt Classic 24. Paul Beatty along with Greg Hargrave. We're up to weight class 170, Greg, and we've got Brock Beeler of Clarkston taking on Tyler Coates of Ellensburg. A couple of seniors and a rematch from last weekend's regionals. I think that is that region three? Um, I don't know if the south is region three or what do we got here? Region four. Region four, okay, yeah. Eastern Washington there. Um, I think Tyler Coach was the favorite all year when it came to regionals. Uh, Beeler ended up winning that. He, he came in as the one seat to the state tournament, but they match up again right now. Tyler Coach took third last year in the 160-pound weight class, and Beeler took a fifth at the 171-pound weight class last year. So he's able to stay pretty close to the 170 at least, obviously, and Coates is stepping up a little bit, and I think this will be Clarkston's only entry into the finals against Ellensburg's Tyler Coates. Yep. I have to give the edge to Mr. Coates here, even though he lost last weekend. But let's see if a Beeler could, uh, could come up with two wins in a row back-to-back -back weekends. So coming in, Coates beat Jose Duran of Aberdeen 11-7 and then pinned his uh, next two to get to the finals. Beeler had two straight pins and then a three to one win this morning in the semifinals to get to the championship to face his familiar foe. Yep, oh, he got his feet in. That should be a two point takedown. Yes. And Beeler jumps out to a two to nothing lead. Yeah, even though uh, Tyler's whole body was out of bounds, Beeler's feet were inbounds. He gets the credit there for the two points. So now Beeler over the top. And we're underway here. 110 to go in the first round. And Beeler takes an early 2 to nothing lead here in weight class 170 finals. Yep. It looks like he's going for a, a cross wrist, two-on-one situation. Uh, keeping him from uh, keeping Tyler from uh, doing anything he really wants to do down there. Uh, we see a little hand fighting going on, but Tyler's going to have to do a little bit more than that if he wants to score anything this round. We got about 40 seconds to go. And again, these are two wrestlers that know each other. They're in the same league. I know. I, I take that back. They're not in the same league. They're just in the same region. Tyler got a one point escape and nice throw. To his back, this could be a five-point throw, Paul. Two for the takedown and three for the near fall. 18 seconds. Beeler trying to hold on. Coates trying to finish it in the first, and he can't do it. Nope, he had an opportunity there. But five points does help. So let's see what we have here. Six to two is the score. That's correct. Ten seconds to go. And that was a nice throw. Uh, again, Tyler Coates... He was a national champion two years ago in Fargo, North Dakota in Greco-Roman. Or it could have been freestyle, I don't know. But he was a national champion. And what they do is they do a lot of throws like that there. So you don't want to tie up with somebody that knows how to do that kind of stuff. And he nearly put it away in the first round. But now Beeler has a second chance opportunity as he gets into the second round. Here's the other placers weight class. 170, third place, Dakota Hinton of Squim. Jason Jorgensen was fourth of Deer Park. Fifth place, Preston Churchill of Centralia. Sixth place, Martin Vacamos of Cedarcrest. Jose Duran of Aberdeen was seventh. And Brandon Todd of Archbishop Murphy was eighth. Again, Tyler Coach went for the stand-up. He's looking for the one point instead of the two points. Let's see, he's doing some hand fighting. He's doing some hand He wants to stay in bounds. Let's see what's going on there. He's still moving, 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 and they go out of bounds. They're going to start back up and down position. That, took a, that, that takes a lot of energy, and I've seen Tyler lose gas in the third round a whole lot of times. Let's hope he doesn't do it today. Well, nice save there by the official. Looked like Tyler almost kissed the cement there. It's Once you get off the mat, it's solid cement down here on the Tacoma Dome floor. Yeah, there's no cushions down here. Again, Tyler went for the stand-up again. And Beeler did a great job keeping him down, and now he's going to keep him on his belly for a while. That's the second worst place you want to be besides your back, Paul. Well, if uh, Beeler knows that 
uh, you, you may be able to get to uh, Coates. Uh, his, the advantage is, regardless of what he's doing, is to extend this match. Yeah, he just wants to make sure he's using every – he doesn't want Coates to, to relax at all. Oh, we got a stalling warning on the bottom man, Coates, because I think he is trying to recruit some energy down there, and the referee's not going to let that happen. He's trying to dig it out. He's trying to place that arm in the middle of his back, and he's going to go for an arm bar or something. Let's see what happens. I think he has the wrist still. He's putting some pressure on the back, trying to dig it out. Coach isn't going to let him dig it out. If you're going to dig it out, you've got to put a lot of pressure and weight on that back so he can't buck up like that. Tyler's trying to get up with it, and he's trying to dig it out. And we're just grinding away here with 30 seconds to go here in the second round. Six to two. Another stall. Uh-oh. They, I think they understood what Coach, Coach is acting busy down there apparently. And he, the referee thinks he's resting down there. So he just got dinged for another point or a point for a second stall warning. And now the coach wants to have a word with the official with 7.7 seconds to go in the second round. Well, the, the coach is smart here. I would talk to him as long as I possibly can, too, to give Tyler some more breathing time here. Part of the strategy as well. But again, Beeler doing a nice job after almost getting pinned in the first round of staying in it and now extending. Uh, and you can see Tyler trying to catch his breath. Yep, they got seven seconds to go here. And it's going to be a long third round, I have a feeling, for Tyler. So let's see what happens. So here comes Coates. He'll take the down position. Beeler up over top. Six to three. Coates tries to get a point here in the last seven seconds, and they run out of bounds. And Coates will be on the bottom again with 2.6 seconds. Yep. He can still he can get an escape here with two seconds, so let's see. If he goes for it, if he's just going to try to save his energy for the third. Now he's going for it. He's going for it. And that will take us to the end of the second round as Beeler holds on and trails by three, six to three. And now with uh, an escape, he can get up and with a, a takedown, get right back into this. Tie it up. And that's what he's trying to do. Get away, gets his one point. A takedown here. We got a, we're starting over with a new wrestling match with a little momentum going Beeler's way. Let's see what happens here. And again, we got to remember, Tyler Coach already has his, uh, his two stall warnings. So next is another point. Then after that, it's two points. Then after that, it's the match if it goes that far. But I have a feeling it won't. And right now, Beeler, he may be figuring, you know what? I kind of want to take it down to the wire here a little bit too and not move too early. Yep, but again, he, he can't he can't afford to give up another stall though. Because then to take down the I mean Beeler. Oh Beeler, yeah, yeah. I would really act busy if I was Beeler. I'd be shooting, shooting, shooting. Not only do you need the takedown to tie it up, but it'll wear coach down and it'll force him to uh, have to do something. Let's see here. We got one minute to go. Beeler's got the leg underneath there, trying to pull it through. See a stalemate, yeah, there's a stalemate. 53 seconds to go. He's got to get, Beeler has to get after it. Again, these are both seniors. Laying it all out on the line there between Beeler and Coates here. And again, Beeler got the best of Coates at regionals. And right now, Coates trying to hold on. Uh-oh, he's got a leg. Extended half. He's trying to crank him over to get some back points. If, it, if the referee does one count, there should be a takedown. There's a, ta there's a count. So no matter what, he gets the two-point takedown, and he's going to get near fall points too. And again, Tyler can just stay right there because there's no stalling when, the, when your opponent's on his back. He's smiling. He knows exactly what's going on now. He's not even trying to pin him right now. He's just going to stay right there and feel the vibes of being the state champion. What a great feeling. <laughs> Down to two, one, and that is the match. Tyler Coates hugging 
Beeler at the same time, knowing that this young man gave him all he wanted, got him at regionals, and Coates comes back to get it here at the state championship. Yep, that's Ellensburg's second state champion today. And that being a state champion doesn't take overnight, Paul. A lot of, again, a lot of wrestling matches that kid has wrestled. Hundreds and hundreds of them his whole, his whole life. I don't know what his plans are next year, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him at, in the college level somewhere. All right, that's 170. It goes to Tyler Coates of Ellensburg. We're going to take a break here. Up next, weight class 182, and we have a freshman versus a senior. Kaiser Bailey of Centrea takes on Jeremy Corthius of Linden. That's next as we take a break here at Matt Classic 24 on the WIAA Network. One Saturday night, someone went through town slashing tires. Sunday morning, one of Andy Spencer's customers at Les Schwab went to Andy's house to see if he could help. You got it. Andy got in his truck and drove up and down the streets, helping anyone who needed it. He worked at it pretty hard most of the day. That's all of them. Andy didn't tell anybody no. He really went above and beyond his duties as a manager and a neighbor. I'm James Hamilton, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. 